The following is a class given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on September 13th, 1979 in Los Angeles, California. Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Simati Bhakti Vedanta Shaminiti Namine Namaste Sharasati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nibhisesha Sunnavadi Pashtatya Desha Tarine Shri Krishna Chaitanya Bhavanityananda Siyadaita Gudadhar Sivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Nama Sishtanga Manumapi, Sati Putra Matra Swarupam, Rupam Tasyagrajam, Rupuring Maturing Goshtavating, Radha Kundangiri Varanga Ho Radhika Madhava Sam Yasya Kripa Pratita Kripa Yasi Gurung Sangna Tosmi Ojanulam Vita Bujo Kono Kabodato Sankirtana Inkapitalo Kamalaya Takso Vishambaro Dijabaro Jugadama Palo Bhandi Jagat Priyakaro Karuna Bhutaro I'd just like to mention some of the pastimes connected with the Calcutta Rathajatra this year. Actually, 1972, Siddha Prabhupada, 71 or 72, started Rathajatra in Calcutta, but it was done in the back of a truck decorated like a float and pulled until two years ago or one year ago year before this year and it was a very nice festival till then about five ten thousand people would come twenty thousand sometimes then two years then one year ago we had uh, one devotee from New York made a New York Jana what's was that what's that devotee's name? Rasyatra Jaya Jainanda one of his telescopic rods one that goes up and down. So last year that was <clears throat> to some extent publicized in all the newspapers that this was going to be the first telescopic American super rat. <laughs> and the designer he had never attended a Rath Yatra in India, so he didn't really know what to expect. He put a five, although the Rath only weighed three tons, he put a five ton, five ton axle on the front wheels and had a rope hanging from the back so that in case 
you wanted to slow down, you just pull in the back. And he had a steering mechanism on the ground, which one would manually turn this way or that way. So he got the Rav to the front of the Calcutta temple a year ago. And then when it came time for the Rath Yatra to start, the street in front of the Calcutta temple became packed. It's a small street, but it became completely packed, so much so that the pressure of the people knocked down a 10-inch thick brick wall. And they were just packed in like a can of unmentionables. <laughs> so, <clears throat> after Jagannath, Supadda, Balaram finally were taken to the Rath, after great difficulty, the man, the devotee who had manufactured the Rath was already very nervous. And when it came time to pull the Rath, the people in India, especially in Bengal, they love Rath Yatra, they don't pull the Rath. They yank it! And run! So the Rath <laughs> but it was like that. The rod jumped forward and just headed straight towards those people. And the designer screamed that we're going to crush them because he made big eight-foot wheels with no guard in front. And it was heading... There was no way to steer the rod. In fact, as he was trying to steer, it was already completely out of control. So by Krishna's divine intervention, at that point, the two front wheels bent in. <laughs> of course, many people would say that the rod at that point was a failure especially the man who designed it, he completely cracked up. He said, he said that we can't go ahead with it, stop it, don't do it, it's too dangerous, it can't be done, it can't be done, it's not possible, there's too many people. But in spite of we just had him go upstairs and lay down. <laughs> and we got a tow truck to come and with a crane they lifted the front end up then we put a few flowers on the tow truck and they <laughs> pulled the tow truck, tied the rope to the tow truck. So, that was because that, there was a delay. So, so many people were waiting. About two, three hundred thousand people came. It was, a, it was a nice festival. We went. What happened, you see, is that we had wanted that year to take Jagannath to the biggest park in the whole city. And so we had approached the minister of the municipality of Calcutta, Mr. Prashanta Sur. He is a, his name is Prashanta Sur, which is supposed to mean peaceful, demigod. But we know him as Prasant Asur. <laughs> More need not be said. So anyway, this was his, he was newly elected under the Com uh, Communist Party of India Marxist branch and uh, some devotees went and approached him and requested him First they showed him pictures of New Dwarka and New York and all the different temples and requested him to please he preach to him. And he's saying, very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, 
This is being done. Oh, in fact, he was so open that the people preaching to him thought that this person is going to become a life member or something. So favorable. And uh, then, after all the preaching, then they finally requested that, my dear sir, actually all we want is we want this park, Deshapriya Park, for one week for a Rath Yatra festival. And it requires your permission, so you please give us permission. And then the person Asur, he said, Don't bother. Don't bother. Don't waste your time. You can't have it. The devotee said, we're shocked. Well, we're doing so much nice work at Mayapur. We're feeding so many people. We have cottage industry, guru cool, orphanage, this and so many things. We just want to do a Rathyatra here in Calcutta and use the park. So then he said, whatever you're doing at Mayapur, you do there. But don't try to expand your activities in Calcutta. I will stop you. And he said, well, why? I mean, you have an ideology? Said, yes, we have an ideology. Yes, we also have an ideology. Our ideology is to stop your ideology from spreading. Now you can leave. So the devotees left. Very heavy-hearted. So, in spite of not getting a park, we took to Prabhupada's Raha Govinda temple where when he was a child he worshipped Radha Govinda, his father worshipped those deities. And we did a nice program. Every night 3,000 people were coming, <clears throat> uh, sitting and listening, and turned over maybe eight to 10,000. So this year, when it came time for Rathyatra preparations, we replaced the front wheels with Big Mac axle, and we put air brakes on. In the back wheels, we put on special railway 50-ton brakes for stopping when necessary. And the steering was done by a method of steering like a ship with a big ship's wheel by a, set, by a very special system, which was very strong. And the steer would stand up on top of the Rathcart and see, and then he would also control the air brakes. If anyone screamed when they got under the wheel, he would put the brakes on. <laughs> and two little dolls of God were placed in front of the big wheels, making it more difficult for people to stand in front of them. So the Rath was all ready. Then it came time to get a park. So this time, when we went to see what to be done, we found out that the minister, the minister of municipality, he had become, he had been supervising the garbage cleanup in Calcutta, and he got attacked by the garbage men because he was yelling at him, and half of his body became paralyzed. And he had to go to America for treatment. Of course, for someone from that particular ideology to go to America for treatment is ludicrous anyway. So we approached the commissioner, the secretary of the government, and asked, he said, the minister left standing orders. You can't have these two parks, Deshafriya and the main Maidan. So we can have other parks? Why not? The commissioner didn't know all these particular things. So then we took in North Calcutta in the most densely populated part of Calcutta, the Shama Park. That part of Calcutta is between five and seven times more dense 
per square kilometer than New York City. Although the buildings are not over four story, people live 10 in a room. Very old district of Calcutta. Most densely populated area. So they agreed, they gave us, and the route went for nine kilometers, about six miles, through the biggest and main streets of Calcutta. So all the big businessmen in Calcutta were kind enough to donate hoarding space and all the big billboards for one month free. We put up 20 billboards in day-glow paint with special black light sent from Australia. <laughs> one of them was right in front of the government headquarters, in front of the municipality minister's office for when he returned from America. <laughs> big, you know, letters that go big and get small, you know, very cinema type letters. Raha Jatra with big Jagannath and picture of so many devotees from all different nations pulling him. So the whole town was just talking Rathyatra, 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 Rathyatra. And all the, everyone was requested that this had to be bigger than Jagannath Puri. That Bengal had no big Rathyatra. Why are they keeping it only in Orissa? So the enthusiasm became so great. Every newspaper covered front page articles with pictures of the Rath a week, ten days before the Rath Yatra, how the telescopic uh, technological wonder Rath was being created by different American and European devotees along with the Indians. So, finally what happened was the employees of the government, they became so anxious to go to Rath Yatra and the government didn't give a holiday for Rath Yatra that they gave an ultimatum two days before Rath Yatra that if you don't give us a holiday, we're walking right out of work. So then the government, the day before Rath Yatra passed the order, that from two o'clock on, there'll be a holiday for Rath Yatra, so they wouldn't lose the whole day from their workers. This was the first time in the history of Calcutta that a holiday ever appeared for Rath Yatra. So, then time came and the Rath card was in front of the temple. This year, there was so many people that the whole nine kilometer path was packed on both sides waiting from 11 in the morning for the wrath to come. And there was at least 300,000 people waiting at the temple for the start of the wrath yatra. Of course, this year we were prepared. So, Jagannath was taken out of his uh, room, put on the palanquin, and then rows of devotees, first row of so many devotees with gongs, playing the gong and go bobbing like this. And then another row of about 20 chamara fanners, fanning furiously in front of Jagannath. Then behind, big fan going. And then Jagannath is taken, dancing, <laughs> down to the chariot. So in this way, Jagannath, Supadra, Balaram, Balaram, Supadra, Jagannath, they entered their cart, one cart, and it was time for the Rath Yatra to start. So 20 different Sankirtan groups came from Mayapur, Haridaspur, different villages. And then we had 
20,000 uh, prasadam packets in vans. And so we had a four Mercedes vans, Prabhupada's car, and a few other vehicles. And the 20 Sankirtan parties, they stretched out in front of the uh, cart to form nearly a one-mile parade length. And then with space for the people to pull. And then roaming Sankirtan party also apart from the ones carrying the flags from the villages. So then when it was time to start, of course the same thing happened. They keep a pull! But this time, put on the air brake. <laughs> and they didn't know what was happening. So we had to develop a system of red and green flags. Because if they're pulling and we're braking, it was becoming very difficult. So when we'd hold up the green flag, that means pull. We hold up the red flag. Then in front, the devotees would stand with sticks. And when it was time for them to not pull, they would remind them. <laughs> so then, with Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath, Jai Super Jai Bhara Hari the Rathyatra was off. And we went for the first about two kilometers with, uh, with this crowd and the police were beside us and they made us stay on one side of the four-lane road and kept traffic coming on the other side. And the people were in front and on the sides, but traffic was coming on the other side. When we got down to the main six-lane road, the only one in Calcutta, the Chorangi, in front of the Esplanade. At that point, there were so many people that there was no more two lanes of traffic. Simply, the whole road was packed from one building to the other, all six lanes plus sidewalk, everything completely packed. So from the one mile up, they simply diverted the traffic and gave up. So then, at that point, we're right in the middle, we put uh, the, while we're putting the top down for the tram line, then we started to throw white knuckle dunas, little white sweet sugar candy, prashadam. And we were demanding of all the people, everyone you must chant, Hare Krishna, Jai Jagannath. Then all of you, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, they'd raise their hand, we'd start to throw the prasad. Because there's no way to give, there's all just the ocean of people. And the people, they would just die and pick the prasadam off the ground and eat it. And scream, More prasad, prasad! Jai Jagannath, Hari Krishna! <laughs> so then, we put down the, after the top was down, we put down the red flag and pulled up the green flag. But then in the back, there was some boy who was still throwing prasad. The rule is once the chariot, the wrath moves, all prasad throwing stop. But he was getting into it. <laughs> so one lady had dived under the wrath to get a piece of prasad, and it, the wrath takes off. She screams. So he put on the brakes, yeah, but she already was completely rolled over. But then she unfortunately was right in the very middle of the 12 foot, 16 foot wide rath and the wheels didn't roll over. She came out completely shaking, but she was unhurt by Jagannath's mercy. So then the festival continued and as it was going on, the people, everyone was trying to get and touch the rope. It was everyone, they know that simply touch the rope. Must touch the rope, then you, no more birth and death. So everyone is rushing up trying to get that rope. But the rope was only 50 feet long. So the people are just fighting, little old ladies are kind of trying to get the trying to get the rope. And it was just such a scene that uh, regularly people, when they're trying to get the rope, there was such a rush. They'd fall down right in front of the wheels. People have to just drag them out just before they get crushed. 
And the people, every time you say go, they just boom, run. <laughs> so it was becoming so difficult. And finally, after four hours, we had gone six kilometers, or about four miles, had two miles to go. It was already seven o'clock at night. <laughs> we started at three, it was seven. So we put the generator and a light inside the raft, so the whole raft just illuminated like a transcendental effulgent form with Jagannath with big spotlights on him. And the wonderful thing about this is that in Calcutta there's something called load shedding. You won't know what this is. You have never experienced this in America for more than 12 hours in the past 10 years. There, the system is that the demand of electricity is about 400 megawatts and the supply is about 120. So they, and that's when they're doing good. Usually they only can give 60 or 80. So that means that one eighth of the time you get electricity, the rest of the time you just turned off from the powerhouse. So this happened at this time, the whole road, all street lights, all houses, completely black. Simply Jagannath's cart was lit. It looked so beautiful. So then we went at this point, it was so packed, we just, just complete, from that point on, we just solid people, that the police, they all ran away. <laughs> They, they completely disappeared. <laughs> After that time, they would dance a little bit and pull their rod. This time, they just saw so many people. A few ran back in the paddy wagon and sat, and the rest just disappeared somewhere. So, at about 7.30, we're going along. Suddenly, the air brakes are run by a big air tank. The air tank runs out. So, there's no way to brake. And the people are just completely insane at that point. At that, there wasn't even possible for us to do very much kirtan at that point because it was just so packed in. So what happened was that we had to change, we had a spare tank, we had to change it right in the middle of the road there. So the people, they wouldn't stop pulling. We Please don't pull. Don't, they stop. Then suddenly someone would just go, Charge your ass! And just start pulling. <laughs> just stop, stop! It just couldn't contain it. So finally, finally we decided we had to take away the ropes from them and put them under the cart. So as we're taking the ropes away, they wouldn't let go. We're pleading that this, we'll give them back to you, don't worry. <laughs> Just for a few minutes. So there was one diehard who wouldn't let go. So they just yanked it out of his hand, became very angry. And uh, he punched the devotee for taking away the rope from him. So then, at that point, another devotee just happened to move him a few inches away, which, in that particular point, there was, say, about half a million people packed in, and that type of a situation could develop into one which would be enough to send shutters down your back. So, just at that moment, out of nowhere, there was, in a, in a, in a park nearby, this guy was completely insane, was trying to cause a, some kind of a disturbance. Out of nowhere, this huge, white Brahma bull appeared and just ran through the crowd, <laughs> just throwing people 10 feet, 12 feet, left and right. And when I threw that, I threw about 15 feet in the air, like a doll. And just mowing down through the people, you just see the people go, there was nowhere they could run. He just ran through just having complete bliss. <laughs> crushing the people. So he made about one run this way, run, then finally he left the uh, trail. Anyway, the, everything became peaceful after that. 
So we got everyone chanting Hare Krishna and we were throwing out the white candies and everyone was all right. <laughs> Meanwhile, they were changing the, the air. This, you know, modern technology always troubles. So they are changing the air tank. So then what they decided that there's so many people and they're so... At uh, this time it was, uh, you know, 8 o'clock at night and they're just unmanageable. So they decided we'll only let out 25 feet of rope. And by, with 25 feet of rope, they won't be able to pull so much. But, of course, some people say it was successful. In my opinion, it had its disadvantages because what happened was the 25 feet of rope, the people in this time become so anxious to pull Jagannath that three times as many people tried to pull the rope, although it was only half the size, about 20 feet at best. And because the cart, 50 feet high, the big eight-foot wheels, when you're right in front of the cart, as soon as they yank it, then it would lurch forward. They would immediately panic and just run! drop the rope and run, pray that the whole thing would just crush them. And so they were going like this. They'd run, grab the rope, pull it, and they sort of just jump forward about 60 miles an hour. And they would all scream and run <laughs> off on all sides. This way, we were getting, Jagannath was getting such a jerky ride. And then... Little old ladies are still trying to get their hands on the rope, but there's no hope. So they're just touching the rock, wheels, anything they can get to. And uh, so then about 20 brahmacharis got in front of the pullers. And as they were pulling, we were pushing them the other way to slow them down. So they would be pushing, pulling, we would be pushing them, holding them back from pulling so fast. And this we were trying to control, but as they would overpower the devotees many times, somehow or another we were able to gradually come forward. But there's so many people right in the middle of the road, we had forgotten there was a boulevard, but you couldn't see because it was just solid people. So we were smashed right into the curb, broke down the iron fence and uh, sm the concrete in the curb. So again, we backed up and then we had to have people go with, and, and like with big flags and feelers because like going through water, you couldn't see any where the road was, where the sidewalk. There's no way to see. All you could see is people's heads. Because there was no way to tell, especially at night. So finally they edged their way and we're going. And the people this time, everyone was chanting, Hare Krishna, dancing. All the young men just started dancing in circles and chanting, and we are continued on. Finally, we made the last turn, ended up on this a very big road, and all these people had been waiting. It was 9.30 at night. They had been waiting there since the 2 in the afternoon, and they were just, just packed up. The police said it was the biggest procession they had ever seen in their lives. That no president of India, no prime minister, no one had ever had that big a procession. And uh, the All India Radio said that three million people attended. The police said that they they said about two million. I don't know who's right, but uh, I have no way of saying how many people were there. It was uncountable. So then we took the deities. We took the cart another three blocks to where our big panda was. There we had a panda 250 feet long by uh, 120 feet wide. So there we were supposed to take the Roth off the road, keep it on the road, but just completely, the whole, everyone was just chanting and, and there was no way to get Jagannath to the panda. So we decided to take the cart off the road to so the police they're very cooperative. They took sledgehammers and smashed the wall around the park so that the cart could go inside the park. <laughs> well, we told them we'd pay the, to fix it up again later. So they immediately broke the wall. And then we, after much maneuvering, which took about an hour, we got the cart inside the park and then put Jagannath in his 
temple. Jai Jagannath Baba Ram Ki, Jai Rukmini Rakhadesh Ki, Jai Nidai Gaur Guru Gang Dev Ki. So that was the basic procession. We left out a few things, but then for eight days we had our panel program there. Every night about a turnover of forty to fifty thousand people were coming. At one time eight to ten thousand would sit, except one night was rainy, so only about five thousand sat. And they would stay for a well, from 6 till 10, four-hour program every night. Half hour of lecture by Subhag, Hranyagarbo Swami, or Bhakti Chu Swami, different Swamiji's Bhakti, different Swamis. And then there'd be an Arti Kirtan, some Bhajans. First lecture, Arti Kirtan. Then I would give the main lecture in Bengali for about an hour. Then the Gurukul did drama. They did three different dramas, repeated twice. And one night there was just movies. After the, each drama there would be a movie. They did Prahlad, Dhruva, and Murgari the Hunter. These are the three dramas they did. They only practiced for about four days on the Dhruva play, but the uh, acting was so nice that uh, when Dhruva Maharaj came and met his mother after she was exiled in the forest, just after she was praying to Krishna that how unfortunate she was that, uh, but she took it all as his, her te- his test, that uh, she was the unfavorite wife and uh, therefore could not properly, uh, her son couldn't get proper recognition or whatever. And then he came. The, that move, that uh, scene they did was so moving that all the people started to cry. Most of the people, they started to cry on two different occasions of that play. And uh, everyone was completely silent and listening so attentively to the to everything that was going on. We had we had brought 300 uh, Japa Malas there one night and then I just suggested to the people that they could purchase the Japa Malas and boys went out in the crowd and immediately within uh, 15 minutes they were all sold out. The people were so eager. One night I was giving a lecture and you see, I had a, when I gave lecture I would do quizzes. I would ask the people questions like uh, human birth the animal birth plus dharma or religion combined equals human birth. So what is human birth without dharma equal? Then everyone raise their hand. Pushu, pushu, animal, animal. About hundred people raised their hands and screaming, animal, animal, animal. And whoever I would think did it first, gave the, the correct answer first, I would throw him a mango. So the people, the whole lecture, they'd simply be listening so attentively. Anytime I would just throw a question. I'd just throw a question anytime that, what is the purpose of life? And then someone just immediately, even I would, I would sometimes just, in the lecture, I, I would just ask rhetorical question, just, just to get the people excited without giving them angle. So about after the sixth or seventh night, I had finished the lecture, but that night I had been lecturing very strongly against this type of Mayavadi philosophy of whatever you want, do it, and about bogus sannyasis who are not recognized by the scriptures. That everyone has to be rec- speak only from the Shastra. So in the very end... Uh, I just said that I asked a question about this, the philosophy, Jatomat Tatopat, 
which is a famous saying by Ramakrishna, Paramhansa, a Paramhansa. And uh, I was about an inch off my seat that night at that particular time, and I just said that, what scripture says that whatever you do, you reach the same goal? What scripture? I, would just, I just screamed out. Not that I expected an answer. I was just saying it, that there's no scripture that says this. So I was saying, but all the people were completely conditioned to this. So some guy jumped up and said, Ramakrishna, where's my mango? <laughs> and after eight years of, just for some reason at that particular point, just everything that I had in me against the, the ill effects of Ramakrishna's preaching in India, for about five minutes I just blasted him. That what has Ramakrishna done in the past 80 years that he may be a sadhu, but if he doesn't, if anything he said isn't in the Shastra, then we reject it. And a few things like that. So after I said that, after I cooled down, I realized that <clears throat> they might burn the candle down. I was, you know, I mean, generally speaking, that would be what would, would happen. Instead, about 10 people got up and said, what do you say, what do you say? And I became very afraid that, oh, what's going to happen? What did I do? But all the people, it was like a yoga mind. They didn't even hear what I said. They didn't even, only a few people and other people, they stopped them and said, why are you disturbing? They're doing such a nice program. Every night, nice lecture, nice rathyatra, nice drama, nice play. Why you are disturbing? Even if he says something, you don't like, you should never, you should not disturb. Which is unheard of in Bengal. Unheard of. So it was, somehow anyway, by Krishna's mercy, I would never do it again. But, uh, if, I mean, I wasn't, I'm not in control at that particular point. Anyways, by Krishna's mercy. I, we could see that the people were so favorable. So in this way, we had our first Rathyatra in a super big way. Next year, we went to try to have three cards and uh, many festivals. Of course, we get the inspiration when we hear about the Los Angeles Rathyatra. I actually wanted to come to the Los Angeles Rathyatra this year, but Ramesh ordered me to go to New Vrindavan which I probably would have enjoyed coming to Rathyatra more and shared the wonderful experience with all of you. But uh, maybe next year I'll be so fortunate. So that is the kind of Rathyatra that happens in Calcutta and in India. But th that year in Jagannath Puri they only had 400,000 people attend. So we more than doubled and tripled we at least four times them in attendance by any of the minimum estimates. And so Prabhupada had said he wanted it to become the biggest Rathyatra in India. And we can see that by his blessings that this is going to definitely be true. Already people are preparing, the people are writing in for booths so they can sell... Uh, in front, of the, in front of our panda, there was about 50 people selling, it was like a carnival, they're selling balloons, ice cream, potato chips, soda, anything, little toys. It's like a whole bazaar opened up right in front of it, amongst which our book distributors had the prime spots for their book booths and other things. But it was such a, a festival, just spontaneous. So, this will increase every year by Lord Chaitanya's mercy. Now that once they've given us this park, I don't think they can refuse us next year. The local people gave a lot of help. So that is the basic 